If you trade on a stock exchange, do you know you can now use Excel to connect to external database and like that, return the history of quotation of the company in the world, and not only in US, but in the most marketplace in the world. To do that, there is just one function to use. It's very simple, and that's what I'm going to show you in the first part of this video. But the most difficult is not to use the function, is to find the code of the company in function of the market. And this is what I'm going to show you in the second and third part of this video. So first, let's return the history quotation for the company Microsoft. And to do that, it's very simple. I just have to write the function stock history. And here, the first argument is the code of the company. And I repeat, I will explain how to collect the code for the company in the world in the second and third part of this video. But here for Microsoft, the code is the following XNAS colon MSFT, like this. Then, what is my second argument? It would be the starting date. And I can return a dynamic date like this, today minus 30 days. And then, what is the end date? It's today. And then, do I want to return all the history quotation day by day? Yes, so parameter 0. And then, do I want to have the header? Yes, so show header value 1. And then, the date and final argument, the closing value, 1. And when I press enter, I return all the quotation for the last 30 days for the company Microsoft. And also what is important to notice is the function has returned the result in more than one cell. This is a dynamic array and this is why the function stock history works only with Microsoft 365. But here I can add extra argument. So here for instance it was date and closing, but if you want, you can also add the opening value and then the lowest, the highest, and finally the closing. And like that, you return more information for your analyze. But now, let's say I want to return the history quotation for Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Porsche, or Heineken. As you can see in colon D, the code are different. Let's take a few seconds to understand how the code works. The first four digits, it's for the exchange place. The X for exchange, and then you have the code for the exchange place. So for Microsoft, is NASDAQ, N-A-S. For Coca-Cola, it's New York Stock Exchange, N-Y-S. For Porsche, it's in Germany, it's Frankfurt, F-R-A. And for Heineken, it's in Netherlands, Amsterdam, AMS. So, how I have found this code? It's very simple when you use the data type. And that's what I'm going to explain you in the second part of the video. So, let's say I want to report the list of the 500 company in the S&P 500. Here. I have found them on this address on Wikipedia. So, I copy the link. And in Excel, I go to data and import from the web. I paste the URL. This open Power Query, and I just have to select the table where I have all the information. Is it this one? No. Is it that one? Yes, it is. So when I found the correct table, I transform it. I just have to select the first two columns, right click, remove other columns. And like that, I keep just the two columns from the web page. And I close and load. Very good. So here, not only I have the symbol of the different company and also their name. And here I'm going to select the column, just like this. So I click in the header, not on the column A, on the header because it's a table. Like this. And I return to data and I apply data type and you have stocks here. When the icon of the stock exchange appears in your cell, that means you are connected to the external database of data type. And then when you are connected, you have all the daily information for each one of this company. So you have information like the highest quotation of the day, the lowest, and also the price here. But here what I want is to return the code of the exchange place and also the code for the company. So for that, I just have to select here 
exchange abbreviation and I return immediately the code here and also ticker symbol and I return all the information for each one of the company. And then what I have to do, it's very simple. I just have to create a new colon where I link the content of the colon C, ampersand, double quote, colon, double quote, end, and the colon ticker symbol. And like this, I have created all the code for the function stock history for each one of this company. And now, if I want to reuse this code with the function stock history, this is what I can do. So first I'm going to create a data validation for this colon. And I apply a different color for the cell, like this. And here, in function of the company I select, I want to return the code. For this, I use the function xlookup. The value that I want to search, it's here, g1. Where is g1? In this colon. And what I want to return, it's the code. And I close the parenthesis, like this. So each time I select a new company, I return another code. So just like that, I copy the formula, the previous one I have done, in this worksheet, and I paste. And here, I remove the code here for Microsoft with the reference of this cell, like this. And now, each time I select a new company name, American Express, I have the quotation now of American Express for this code. So, as you can see, with company from NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange, it's very easy to use data type. But if you want to find the code of companies in another stock exchange place, like for instance Paris, it's not so simple and sometimes you have to correct some information. I show you. So here, as you can see, I have already imported all the name of the company from this wiki page here. So now I return in Excel. I select my colon and I go to data and once again stocks. I don't need the Power Query pen. So here, as you can see, sometimes I have a question mark. That means data type was not able to select the exchange place. But here I have a list of all the places where the company Airbus has been found. In this situation, the first link for me is a good one. So stock next Paris, I select this one. For Alstom, again, very easy to find. For this one, so the first link, it's in New York. No, no, what I want is the one in Paris. So I scroll down. Oh, it's already finished. No, I can extend the list, show more results. And I scroll down till I find Euronext here for Amsterdam. It doesn't matter if it's not in Paris for this company. For AXA, again, very simple. For this one, there is a problem, as you can notice. Data type doesn't select any company, but for this one, it's just because the way to write international is not the same. It should be INTL, like this. And like that, you find the stock. No, Paris, yes. So like this, everything looks perfect, but it's not the case. Have a look at this. So if I go to the top and I add the exchange place abbreviation, you can see that I have sometime Amsterdam for ArcelorMittal, why not? But here I have the Nasdaq and it's not the same name of the company. If I return to the Wikipedia page, you can see that the name of the company I want to look for was Atos and not Etosa. This is wrong. So I return to Excel. Also, I add the ticker symbol like this. So we can see that the ticker symbol, it's ATOS, okay, but it's not the name of the company that I want. So what I can do here, it's a right click on the cells, go to data type and change. 
automatically the pane open for this company. It's not the one that I want, so I close this and here I search for ATOS. And just like that, you can see I have much more company with the symbol ATOS or the name ATOS. And this is the one that I want. Select and immediately everywhere the code has changed. And again for this one, ST Microelectronics, right click, data type, change. I just remove the last part of the code here and I search for it. The first one is New York, London Stock Exchange, Brazil, and Paris, like this. So with data type, it's very easy to collect all the code of the different company, but you have to take care to avoid mistake.